All right, so we finished up with um, recursion, so now we're going to go and discuss trees, because in order to program trees correctly, we need to be able to do uh, program stuff recursively. See? Um, so what we're going to learn, right over here, bullet point two, to learn how to use recursion to process trees, right? And the big thing here is, we're not kidding. Um, if, uh, when you get to your exam, it's gonna take about, uh, you're gonna get some questions on trees, on your final, you're gonna get some questions about trees, and if you can do them, if you learn the two methods, sorry, if you learn how to use recursion to, uh, you know, solve problems on trees, then you can write them in like four to seven lines that includes the if statement and the curly braces. If you can't use recursion, um, you are, and I'm going to use a technical term here, uh, up a creek without a paddle. So you gotta learn how to use recursion to process these. Now, to make your job easier, make this sound way less intimidating, I can let you know that basically 45% uh, of the, all the questions that you're, all the methods you have to write that deal with trees can be solved using what's, what I'll call the zigzag method. And all the other, and 45% of the other uh, problems can be solved using the traversal method. The remaining 10% are edge cases and they, you, and they are basically stuff where you wouldn't use recursion or that you would have a queue and we don't typically ask those on an exam. Um, so we're gonna learn how to uh, deal with different ways of traversing a tree, going through it. I'll get to this bullet point later. Um, to understand the differences between binary trees, binary search trees, and heaps. Uh, so binary trees and binary search trees, this is this week's videos. Uh, heaps will probably fall closer to next week's. Um, we're going to implement binary trees using uh, the same kind of way we did a linked list, so using nodes. Heaps, on the other hand, I won't uh, implement them. Um, that will be something you will do later on, and you use an array for that. They're really kind of easy, but there's no reason why you can't use an array for binary search tree. Um, we're going to learn that binary search trees, uh, the reason we learn them is that they're super efficient. Every single operation you're going to do is log n. And then finally, we're going to learn about compression in this chapter. Um, so this is just simply saying that base, so this slide, everything we've studied so far, like a linked list, you've, you have a single, you have an index in the linked list, you have some node there, and it either ha it has a predecessor and a single successor, right? One thing leads to another thing, which leads to another thing. Um, now, trees, on the other hand, uh, a single node can have two successors. It has multiple successors, but only one predecessor, as we're gonna see. Where do we use this? We use these in disk directories and, and organizing our files. We can use a tree to model a family tree, imagine that. We can use it to model, model class hierarchies. Um, love this statement, this bullet point over here. Trees are recursive data structures because they can be recursively defined. Um, that's a recursive statement if you didn't notice. Um, so uh, specifically, we focus on this chapter primarily on binary trees. There are other trees, but what a binary tree means is that each node has two successors. There are some trees that have three or four or maybe multiple where that's just, um, you know, where we, that's just variable. But here, each tree has two successors. Um, so our objective now, now that we've kind of gone over what the overview of this chapter is, the first, the next series of videos is what we're gonna do is vocabulary lesson. So we are all on the same page when it comes to uh, what we're talking about when we're talking about trees. Um, and the way we're going to do this is that we are going to simply leverage your pre-existing uh, vocabulary as best we can to um, to basically work on, uh, to, to make this easier for you to learn.